I am obsessed with having my teeth be pearly white and about eight years ago I tried those drugstore whitening strips and I think they did a really good job whitening my teeth. The only cons were that it took about two weeks, they stung my gums a bit and they left my teeth feeling very sensitive a few weeks after. I've never tried any professional whitening service but I know a lot of dentists use this service called Zoom Teeth Whitening and it's supposed to be an hour long service that gives you instant white teeth. So today we're in Beverly Hills visiting dentist Kevin Sands and he's worked on countless Hollywood smiles and today he's working on mine so let's see if zoom is worth it right when you walk in you see the office decorated with magazine covers of the many celebrities Sands has worked on First, like any medical office, I had to sign important paperwork. Then I met with Sands to hear all about the treatment. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a layer of the bleach to your teeth. The Zoom is a UVA, UVB light that activates the product and whitens the enamel of your teeth. How is this different from like regular whitening strips? Well, first of all, regular whitening strips, you know, they, they do work but they don't have as much of the active ingredient to white, you know, to really whiten your teeth the way people want them. That active ingredient is hydrogen peroxide, which is about 25% of Zoom's whitening product. After some research online, I found that common drugstore whitening strips, for example, Crest White Strips, have hydrogen peroxide levels ranging from about 6 to 14%. How many shades wider can you get someone's teeth with Zoom? Okay, well, depending on each individual, you can get one shade light lighter up to, you know, five to ten shades lighter. It just depends how much enamel you have, your lifestyle, people that drink a lot of coffee and, and, and red wine aren't going to get as good of a result. And also patients that don't have a lot of enamel don't get the best results either. At Sans's office, he offers a service for $750. However, he mentioned it doesn't work on veneers, crowns, or decaying teeth. The results usually last about six months, but that all depends on your lifestyle and cleaning regimen. Once I knew what I was getting myself into, Sans bought in his assistant Megan to perform the treatment. First, we examined my teeth to find the best shade. No, nope. you're definitely not there. <laughs> and you're not there. You have really nice shade going on now, so you're already in the bleaching category. I would put you about a BL3 or a BL4. So you're already in the category of being really light. So hopefully we can get you to somewhere around <gasps> here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that one. We wear these glasses. These protect your eyes from the UV light that we're gonna use. We're gonna apply some vitamin E oil to your lips. All the Zoom kits come with this. It's just a nice way so that your lips don't get dehydrated during the treatment. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this retractor. It's gonna oh expand. God. It looks a little intense, but it's not really. So I'm gonna have you open as wide as you can. So it's also important we keep everything really dry. So I'm gonna insert some cotton here, and then we're gonna apply this towel. It just protects your skin. This is a protective ingredient that we're going to put on your gums to protect them, so none of the bleaching gel will touch your gums. And now we're going to apply the actual bleaching solution. So it's 25% hydrogen peroxide, okay? So it's really strong, so you want to make sure you don't put your fingers up near your teeth while this is going on. It feels really relaxing. I don't feel this kind of hairy. <laughs> and I uh, don't feel the LED light. And I don't taste the gel or anything. So it's good. The solution is removed after about 15 minutes. For my teeth, we did a second round of whitening. Some teeth require three or four rounds for best results. I feel a little more sensitive. A yeah. little tingly mm -hmm. on the lower front teeth? Or oh, yeah. You, that's the most common area to start to get sensitive. And it's just because the teeth are dehydrated. 
Once those 15 minutes were up, my teeth had to be cleaned before I could see the results. You don't see like the little yellows that I used to have around like the rims of the teeth, like the gum. You got a beautiful result. Yay! I love it. Wow, yeah, so what were my teeth like before? So before we started, you were in this shade range, BL4. It's a nice shade, but we definitely increased your shade dramatically to a BL1, which is the lightest shade possible. And you just wanna you know, avoid dark colored foods and liquids okay. for 24 hours. Okay. And after that, back to normal. I've had my pearly white teeth for a few weeks now and I've been enjoying them. Uh, but here's the thing, in real life I can see the difference and I've had a lot of people compliment on my teeth, but when I look at the before and after pictures, it's a little hard for me to tell. I think it's because I started with pretty white teeth already, but the major change I see is whitening around the edges of my teeth. Um, that's the areas I should be flossing more. Overall, if you have stained teeth, probably a little bit more yellowish than what I had, and you have zero time to wait and you want instant white teeth in under an hour, then I think it's worth trying Zoom and seeing how the results last. For me, I realized that it's probably smarter to stick with the more affordable drugstore options, even if it takes some time and I might feel some sensitivity a few weeks after, but I think I'll see similar results while saving myself some cash.